Hello, it has been a while, hasn't it? We are back once again with Vampire the Requiem, Night 8. Now, Kyle, I already said, you know, in downtime, I barely remember what we did because Ragtag is just apparently never been paying attention. We found a dead body, and everybody seemed to think that was something supernatural. So I'll let you pick up wherever we were at because I think we were doing you know, weird mystic vampire shit I didn't care about anyway. Yeah. The body is without a, its face. And the gang of your group had performed a little bit of a forensic examination on it and found that while all the organs were missing, were in place, there was a feeling that something was missing from the body, but he couldn't name exactly what. The body itself just seemed hollow to him in his investigation but couldn't pinpoint why <clears throat> the cocaine we that you were going to be speaking with this guy about was it located in the bag nearby the body which says that he was potentially doing a drop off when they when he was attacked or he could have just been carrying it on him for safekeeping hard to tell <clears throat> but this is where we open up. I think we already, if I'm going to remember correctly, I called Persephone to get a cleanup crew. Um, and we called oh. the the owner of the, the cocaine, and I believe uh, someone was coming to pick that up too. Yep. Yeah, I remember some stuff. <laughs> so... Before the cleanup crew, you're approached by a young man dressed in deep blues with a, a, a large baseball cap twisted around by twisted around backwards. They look to you as they come as they come up and they go, "So, you got it." Alex takes one look at the guy and tr uh, hold, hold like a laugh. He just disregards the laugh, disregards the uh, the movement of your shoulders as you try to hold it back. I'm, I'm gonna step up and say, "Got what? What are you talking about?" The cocaine. The load that you're supposed to be getting off of the guy. Who are you? I'm the pickup. Who are you? I'm the pickup artist. What do you want to... Oh, well, you know, it's really hard to tell because you left your cockatrice feathers outside, you know? Alex grins. Can you just give us the first initial of who you work for so we can verify and get this little charade of uh, who has the bigger fangs out of this, out of the way? <laughs> this, this guy isn't a vampire at all. Yeah, There's well, no I, I didn't want to of... use any other terms because, you know, <laughs> yeah. we're broadcasting no, no. and I don't want to use the wrong word. So he just he, he just looks at you all and goes, M. Remind Andy, is that the right one? Yes, okay. yes it is. Okay, hand him the drugs. He shoulders the bag, looks at you all, nods, turns around and walks away and he goes, before you, before your cleanup crew arrives, it'd probably be best if you know y'all skedaddle. I know that you guys aren't used to this kind of thing, being, you know, greenhorns and everything, but they tend to like to do their shit on their own just because, you know, they don't like people looking at what they have to do. Well, we were leaving before you showed up. No worries about that. All right. Bye-bye. 
And with that, sure. he then suddenly disappears off into the steam of a of a sewer vent. Nope. It's gonna be Let's really bad here. when I have to go the same way. It's gonna look like I'm following him. Do it. <laughs> Hey guys. Hey Tyler. Uh, well, this has been an interesting night. Let's get out of. Yeah, I pulls out a fag. Lights up and lights up and walks off. This is the same night that Loki said that he was going to be um, out of contact, right? Yep. All right. All right, let's let's head back. Wow, and maybe get a talk with. Um... Sorry, I I lost the notepad where I wrote down the name. So, um, let's go and just we already called her. Sorry, so let's just go back to our haven. Uh, I need to stop by the library before night time, so. You need to swing by there for. Sorry? What do you need to swing by there for? I'm just curious. Uh, personal errand. Fair Nothing nefarious. That only makes me worry more, but go ahead. Uh. So what are you thinking tomorrow? Meet up? We wake up and not texting everybody, but we thinking uh, the gun shipments? Yeah, that's probably a good way to go. Um, I also have that world of contact we should maybe look into. How much do I know about werewolves? You can make a quick, um, occult check. It would be occult a... What, intelligence? Yeah, uh, no, not occult intelligence, because you're doing it off the fly, off the cuff. Um, it's wits. If you were, um, taking a bit more thought on it and, and doing a bit more in regards to like brooding over everything that you know over the course of a night it would be an intelligence check okay i'm gonna spend a willpower on it okay two successes you know that werewolves tend to speak more in a spiritual sense about what they themselves are not in this, not in like a religious context, but in a more sort of animistic sense, like everything has a spirit. Um, a good human equivalent to their belief structure, as you've at least heard it told, would be something along the lines of First Nation tribes, especially Algonquin in nature for this area. Um, but other than that, they tend to keep themselves sectioned off into packs and tribes and their politics when it comes to humans are a bit more brutal than vampires. Um, just because there's something about them that even as a gang girl, while you're closer to the animalistic side of humanity, because of the nature of your curse, they seem to be much more animal than that. Okay, do I know about any connection between the mood and the moon and their personality? Um, you seem to think that there might be, because if you guys have different cast, if you guys have different cast of vampires. And, and different clans, it's quite possible that they might tie themselves to the moon depending upon different phases of it, but you've gotten really nothing in regards to, to 
that from interactions with them to really back it up. Okay, oh. is the moon waxing or raining right now? And what is the size of the moon? The moon currently is uh, is um, waning, and it is at the uh, at the halfway point, and it is actually quite large for uh, for this time of the year. Mm -hmm. So, we better do more business for the night. For eyes may be getting things started no i think most of the major stuff is done tonight yeah i could um at the end of the night could send out the contact to see if tomorrow we could get in with the werewolves or well, least, i think tomorrow we should check out these guns i think that's on a short notice but if we can set an appointment with them at the very least all right i'll, I'll send out them. the message and to ask one when we could meet up that sounds good to see because i don't know if we say okay we want a meeting tomorrow that they'll be like okay yeah so uh, well if you if we're going out of the do i'm going off the what off to the junker you pick me out do your snack no I'm looking at looking at build some wheels. I'll see if there's anything I can work with with it. Work with. Blair, Sherlock, Arthur. Good night. Good night. See you guys tomorrow. Um, and as the group starts spreading out, I'll make my way towards the library to meet up with Mary. As you get closer to the library, you get a text message that says, Fifth Thread, Third Tapestry. All right. and, and as you come up to the library itself, the building is dark, but you can see that the front door is open. All right. Oh, head in to the mysteriously open entrance. The scent of the library is the first thing that hits you. The moldering smell of aged books and Lysol disinfectant that seems to just coat the entirety of the floor. The world around you as you enter it is still completely dark, but your eyes are able to pick up flashes of light. Sorry about that. <laughs> Flashes of light that seem to be coming from standby printers and security systems that haven't been active that haven't activated for some reason as you come in. I, I kind of get a hint of nostalgia from the eight past life. I'm making my way through. It, how many floors are there in this library? Is it just a, the basic, like, no first floor? I'll be sending you through a picture of the Chicago Public Library. It's 
coming up in the general chat right now. The Chicago Public Library. Huh? How many floors? Five. Okay. So I will go to third. Do you want to give me a perception check? All right. If you have your aspects up, please add that into the roll. Okay, so um, just to double check, uh, what was perception? Wits and... Wits and comp. Okay, so that's five. Okay, seven. Because I would hear it was four. I got two. You can hear off in the distance the flapping of fabric on this floor. Your eyes adjusting to the low light see five, possibly six different tapestries fluttering seemingly even though there's no wind through the entire area how so they're all kind of in a line or on opposite walls they're all in a line all right i'll head over to um to the third to see if i spot anything in that one do you want to give me an investigation check on it it's sure. plus investigation plus your aspects. Okay. It's plus investigation. Okay, seven. I doubt it counts, but I have uh, cryptography and dreams. Just in case. Um. No, no, those don't help. That's two successes. As you reach along the tapestry and feel across it, suddenly you notice that there's a row of bobbles at the bottom. And as you, pug, as you pull on the fifth one, suddenly a note drops down from behind the tapestry and there's a single name written across it. Persephone. And as you, as you're looking over the note, mm -hmm. from behind you, you can hear the soft footsteps of several different feet coming towards you all from within the channels and rows of the stacks of the li of the library of this floor all right i turn around to meet them there are several vampires there you can see you can feel their presence each of them letting themselves letting their beasts be known to you but you can't make out their faces even with your heightened senses one steps forward and then goes this person is significant 
this person means something to the great to the greater tapestry. We want you to look over them and influence them. Are you prepared to take on this role, Weaver? Indeed. Good. We shall all meet again, and we shall all remember the great tapestry. We weavers bring it and build it forth. And then suddenly they all disappear. You now have the first dot of initiation for the Shadow Cult, the Morai. This gives you a free specialty in divination and the occult skill. And once per story, you may use the specialty to take a reading of some kind. Rolling wits plus occult, a success allows you to receive a single plus one die to your to your pool bonus which can then be used at any point later on in this story as if recounting something that you have foreseen okay. with that I will pocket the paper that says Persephone, just to make sure no one else reads it, and I will return to my haven for the night. Once I do get there, I will light a match and burn that piece of paper. Yep. Now then. On top of everything else, the next night comes, and a text message comes out to all of you from Loki going, if you need me for anything, I am available, but I can't go out on any sort of missions right now as I try to get caught up. Uh, I advise... No. Uh, I'm just going to send a, sounds good, checking out docks and the weapon shipments tonight. Uh, assuming Alex was successful to keep a, sh a chassis, uh, he's going to stop uh, working on it. T takes, all right, mate, and uh, get get back to work. Work, try to buff, buff out ret, rust, work out the rust, get prepared for a book, for its coat, uh, initial coating. Okay. Um, you're able to find. What kind of chassis were you looking for? Uh, no, nothing. Nothing fancy. He doesn't really have the funds, but something that would go into a, a four door. But well, uh, well, look, can, can I? You can pick up cheap, but put together, so it looks quite nice. Uh, so I'm thinking something along uh, the chassis for a Mazda MX-5. No. <laughs> You're able to find... Let me check out your uh, your resources. My, resor my resources is one. one do I got one dollar resources. You're able to find a Yugo chassis. It'll, it's better than nothing. <laughs> I still think you should have gone for uh, the Ninja Turtles battle wagon, but hey, that was me. He's he's just trying to get some uh, put together some wheels for the group. He's not he's not making not his own personal wheels. Those come later. But yes, you are able to find an old 1980s Yugo chassis. 
probably the only thing on that car to have survived beyond the <laughs> USSR. How do you spell that? Uh, Yankee Uniform uh, Golf October. Nice yep. Take a look. Anybody who's a car nut will instantly know that this was one of the worst cars in all of history. Oh, like I'm, I, yeah, like you could probably get, you could probably do something with the chassis, but he's definitely doing, putting pieces from something else and everywhere, everywhere, which you can. Okay, but moving on, um, you guys are going to be checking out the docks. So. We have also sent a message out to the werewolves, just a, like, a polite, we are interested in talking, when would work well for you? <laughs> yeah. A response comes back, Friday night, coffee shop out on the Strand. Gives you what? the name of the coffee shop, it's a Starbucks. Uh... When, what is, uh, what, what's tonight? Thursday, when, Monday? Tuesday. Tuesday. So, m late in the week, okay. Like three or four days, got it. Um, Arthur. You get a text yeah. message from a very familiar number, given that it's the primogen of the Maquette clan going Thursday night family meeting. Oh, shit. So many O'Hare uh, International Airport. Whoever is late has to bring the Cinnabons. <laughs> um, it was uh, Thursday night, family meeting where? O'Hare Airport? O'Hare International, yeah. I have to write all this because I'm pretty sure I'm going to forget if I try to memorize it. I'll I'll reply back to that very simply say I wouldn't miss it. She goes, Good. See you there. As you Perfect. finish up would, would Arthur previously had met the Sidmon and Lady in the Primogen or Yeah. Okay. At least at court, yes, you would have. Okay, at least up. All right. Um, I I will send a message uh, out towards Carter saying, um, "Do you think tonight we'll get carried? As in violent? Hope for the best, plan for the worst." Fair enough. Um, where are we meeting? Where, is there, like, a, where are the, like, the place we're trying to get to? If you look on the map, You're it's right it between right. Paige and I, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm just going to give a location nearish to it, but, uh, or just, if there's anybody's coven near there, I'll just. I think mine's I... right here. No, wait, that's way too close. Too. I remember we tagged it on the last time 
Mine was near the university, but I can't see it. But Yours is the little blue dot. Arthur's okay. is the black suit, is the uh, orange. I forget who's the one all the way out here. That is. Uh, this one's Carter, the brown one. Yeah. So I'm going to get on my bike and. I, I'm guessing I have three um, wealth. It's probably a pretty decent bike, right? Do you want it to be a classic, or do you want it to be um, a newer one? Classic. All right. So when it comes to classics, which one do you prefer the most? Because with a three, you've pretty much got a quite decent disposable income, and you've been around for long enough to have gotten um, something original like an Indian or a flat knuckle um, Harley. An Indian. All right. A classic Indian. Tikka masala vindaloo. Are we meeting up at my place then? Yeah. Uh, I'm I think I might have been the blue dot. I do remember, like, I basically had a, uh, you know, a small space in Undertown. But I don't remember us actually saying where. Uh, Alex, Alex Square is the, the university. The orangey-brown one. This one? Yeah, that's, that's Alex's. Yeah, mine is right here, so... Yeah. Um... And we're supposed uh, to go over here, right? Uh, I, I expect uh, as a group, they're going, uh, look, kind of working on something might come around, might be at my, uh, my even, and uh, takes, takes a location. I was it's like, sure, and thinks this ought to be interesting. Uh, I I will try to arrive earlier than the rest to Alex's uh, place. First of all, because of curiosity, to see what type of a pig site he lives uh, in. You, uh, when you arrive, you find a two-story building uh, where the bottom floor is purely a garage, a large garage uh, with stairs going up and, and to the side. Entering, going into the second floor where he—that's where he sleeps and smokes and listens to his tunes. Uh, if you listen closely, you can hear, will uh, like these, the so uh, sounds of machinery going off in the gar garage. Decent. All right. Um, by the way, you have a 1972 Scout Bobber. Who? Hmm? That is to, um, Carter. Nice. That thing looks sick. <laughs> All right. So, um... Arthur, as you're coming up to um, Alex's haven in order to, to then move on forward, a small stone uh, catches your eye. It's a deep red kind of cut into a very rough cubic shape. this is just a stone on the ground or yeah okay um the so is does it look like the stone has been painted or covered with something or is it like naturally that color it's naturally that color um it's about 
it's about the size of my of the top portion of my thumb. Okay, so it's, it's really small. <laughs> um yeah. It's just seemingly there, almost calling out to you. I do a kind of quick look around and then wander over oh. to it. I'll bite. I'll I'll go. I'll, I'll I'll go and try to pick it up. But before I'm just just for kicks, I'm going to um, put out a sensor just in case there's something fishy about it. No, there's nothing fishy about this thing. Okay. Yeah. I'll I'll pick it up. You pick it up and you recognize it as you twirl it through your as you uh, as you move it through your fingers. This is a small chunk of ruby, very impure, but it is a ruby. Oh, well, it must be loaded then. Well, I'll pocket it. Do I see any? Since it's a small piece, do I see any? close by that are more or less the same size or maybe bigger no but as you're moving to pocket it you notice that it changes from red to blue so i try to put it in my pocket then i take it out does, does the color kind of shift again back to red no it, it stays blue now I will put it in and maybe show Ragtag this later if, if I can ever see him. And I'll make my way to Alex's state. Uh, well, like I said, you could hear uh, machinery going going off in the in the garage. It's like a typical Alex, are you here? And you were not hearing anything. Yeah. I'm gonna kind of pull up with my bike, take my helmet off, and wander over to the entrance, and just kind of bash on the wall. Uh, the machine's machinery stops. Uh, Alex opens up the front of the garage. Uh, go goggles on, a bit, bit, a bit dirty, and a bit dirty with uh, specks of uh, rust all over him. All right. You ready to head out? Yeah, give us a sec. Uh, uh, pops off, uh, grabs, uh, grabs a. Uh, Give himself a what once over and then go ready. Right. Close up the garage. Oh. So while while they do that, I'm gonna say, okay, give me give me a couple of seconds. We might we might need something. And ironically, I actually needed Kyle for this. <laughs> right, is he <laughs> still so funny? <laughs> <laughs> no worries, it's something for you. Um, it is a ritual, and this will actually benefit probably every single one of us, or at least any Vitae-based abilities, hopefully. What is it? Right. Um, um, so, Kyle, while, while they're kind of setting up and making sure they have everything, I'm going to go up to the stairs because the noise is bothering. Um, and I'm going to... Um, start uh, doing a ritual. This time I'm going to do my newest ritual. Mm -hmm. I want to make sure we can survive. And seeing as, I, as we're going to find about gun shipments, probably good prep. Alright. Alright. What, so, um, just so that I know what ritual. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it, 
that's how you pronounce it. All right, and the name of the ritual is? Uh, succulent Bubos. Succulent um, Blue Bubos, okay. Bubos. Right. Succulent Blue Bubos. Now, what did I just say a few minutes ago about streaming and watching the phrases? They have been on a banning spree lately, so let's not I, I, test I, it. I, I must have, I must have, I must have missed that. All right, so uh, I have to roll a correct um, check for each success. I get a five day. Okay. Um, and these vitae are separate from the vitae I get from feeding and etc. Okay, so nine. Okay, that'll do. Yes, yes, that will. All right. Now then, are you all moving towards the docks now, or are you just all still gathering together at um, at Alex's uh, haven? I'll be like, Ragtag, if you're here, punch the wall. Not too hard. I just got this thing. I figure I probably live the furthest away, so about five minutes later, I just politely knock on the door. Like, down here, mate. Yeah, the entrance to his actual ha ha sleeping area is actually on the second floor, so you'd probably be knocking on the garage. I see, and I thought, all right, mate. Guess we're all here then. Start hunting. Indeed. This is mainly looking around and seeing what we can figure out. Hopefully we won't get into any trouble, but... Where's the fun in that? <laughs> in our own places where they do weapon shipments. Of course. No, I'm not completely helpless. I move my shirt and you can see a pistol hidden in my jacket. Hello. By the way, when when Arthur comes down from the stairs and says, let's go, he has like literally like black plague sized nodes on the side of his neck. And he tries to cover it up with the collar of his coat and then with a little scarf. I'll raise my eyebrow at that besides that. Uh, so what do you we think in investigation wise as we start moving out? Just hunch uh, around to see if we can pick out anything what, strange. Well, Wait, to, to kind of recap, what information besides that um, their shipments missing do we have on this? Or is that about it? It wasn't that shipments are missing. That was uh, that was the cocaine that was missing from um, right. uh, from our dear, dear priest. Um, with them, uh, with the uh, docks, it's that gun shipments are coming in, but nobody knows who's bringing them in. Well, I'll leave the investigating to you lot. I ain't exactly know. But if you need someone to punch someone, I mean, got it. It's more like an infiltration than an investigation. Possibly. I don't have a... I'm not supernaturally gifted as you are, but I'm not exactly the loudest when I want to be. <clears throat> I, I don't know what you mean. Alright, let's just take it nice and slow. Let's start heading for the docks. Once we get there, we can start seeing what we can muster. Your travel up to the docks is quiet in the regular nighttime traffic of Chicago. 
As you uh, as you come up to the docks themselves, there's light, there's sound, shipments coming in from Canada and Greenland filtering into the Chicago area. By way of the Hudson, coming into the Great Lakes, and then into Lake Michigan. You can hear the sounds of giant, um, giant container movers and cranes operating. Loud klaxons of alarms going off every so often as they lift one of the one of the containers up and onto a new ship or off and down the, the smell of the lake comes off in waves of dank salty foulness years upon years of the city's effluent having run into it You find yourselves at a quiet, dark, little roadway that leads into uh, leads into the docks themselves. An abandoned guard post, tittering on the age of decay. Don't, don't, not right now. <laughs> um, and a falling over um, gate. Okay. The chain link having come away from the metal poles some time long ago, standing open. Well, Arthur, anything you can do that can help guide us our way? Well, it's too generalized to like help. If we get uh, something a little bit more pinpoint, then maybe I could, but. Yeah, at least for now, I think we should probably um, observe or let's see where the the shipments are coming from. Have I ever handled, due to my past, have I ever handled smuggling like what would be done? Or would I know spots where that could be more easily brought in? You would know spots that would be more easily brought in. Um... And you, you would know some of the older forms of, um, of smuggling uh, that's gone through Chicago, especially during the, uh, during the bootleg era. Um, have you kept up to date with any of that, though, since you left your former employ? Maybe... Hmm. Definitely none of the kindred, but if I knew any mortals during that time, I might have stayed in contact with them. Yeah. So some of your old friends from that time, their kids and grandkids have become dock workers. The beast it stirs. I, I want to, oh, thank God. I... What was that check for? It's VK, I believe. Oh, yep. Yeah. Oh. Are, we, are we rolling for VT right now? Yep, yeah. yes, you are. Okay, so. Go, thank God for my two in location and one in herd. He's in location. Okay, got one. It's a hungry night for you all. I got a six, so I'm okay. Oh yeah, that's right. I forget you got you're the one that's actually invested quite well. Yeah, I I have two in Haven location and two in herd. I'm good. <laughs> I Gucci. I rolled really well. The only one more Gucci than you right now is Arthur, who rolled really damn well. 
Okay, so uh, just so you know, I have a total of 11 bites at this point with that ritual I just did. You're overflowing. <laughs> yes. Even flow. What the by the way, FYI, the way those uh, first four vitae work, you guys can actually, in a way, drain those uh, pustules on my neck to gain points of vitae. So you're the tank now. Got it. Pretty much. <laughs> you know, I feed on rats, and I even I can, like, I don't want to suck on your boil. <laughs> Just a little hickey, that's all. I I go I sucked on less. <laughs> when I uh... it just looks like it just looks like the black plague. Nothing, nothing. I'm I'm pretty sure I can find some river rats if I need it. <laughs> Oddly, the entire area is very quiet. And there are no rat droppings to be found on this section of the jo docks. River Red didn't mean it had to be an animal. Uh, would I just a straight dog? <laughs> I mean, I'm. I don't. I don't have your. You know, whole. You know, they have to be like this clean. You know, beautiful person to feed on. I'm not too picky. I don't have I, to worry about stuff. I will resent your judgment on my on my fair choice and victims. So going back to that whole uh, past knowledge, does my knowledge, you know, being the an information broker, would that aid him in figuring out where we need to start? Both of you. Give me some quick rolls. Um, okay. I do for my stream. For you, um, Carter, it's going to be a manipulation plus socialize roll. Don't think my street my street punk background will help help in this situation. Nope, it won't help you at all. You are in a completely different area from where you grew up in. Yeah. Now, if we go to England, you can rule the roost. <laughs> and uh, what am I rolling? Um, yeah, Carter, you're rolling manipulation plus so socialize. Um, ragtag. You are rolling... Intelligence plus streetwise. Okay. So just to just to get an idea, um, when you said the dots are empty, like are there people going about doing the thing or not even? In in this area where you guys are at right now, nobody's going about doing anything. Um, right. It, it's board. off the beaten trail. It, it's yeah. it's a section of the docks, but. It's a section of the docks right now that's it's quite old. Nobody really uses it. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Um, yeah, Carter. From your old contacts from back in the day, one of their grandkids notes that, uh, or at least noted to you, that this old section every so often has been getting a freighter in every couple of, uh, every couple of days. Um, that makes an offload, doesn't make any pickups, and then just backs out and goes. Ragtag, um, from your from your information broker days, you know that this area of the docks used to be used um, by certain segments to, uh, to get vampires in and out back in the day. And you've made a few information brokering brokering deals in order for uh, some people to have some papers when they've come in through here. Okay. Uh, 
I'll, I'm gonna make sure that I uh, grease the wheels a little, give him a little money for the information he gave me, and uh, but yeah, uh, when was the last time? Does he know how often it comes, and when was the last time? Um, seems like their shipments come in every two days, and the last one was uh, the night before. So, so there should be a shipment tonight. Yeah. I think maybe me and Ragtag would probably be a, the advanced team per se and start making our way a little bit quieter. At least to yep. see if we can spot where, um, at least where all the movement's going on. To be fair, Ragtag might be the best at this if he can get oh, into yeah. the shipment and find out where it's going. Well, at least a spot where 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 the shipment's taking place. That would be enough for us to move towards there. <clears throat> I'm guessing our vehicles are close ish, so if we need to rush to them we can. Yep. Okay. Sir Agtag, looks like the rest of the group has volunteered you to be the scout. I'm, I'm, if he doesn't want to, he doesn't have to. I'm just saying, <laughs> given your I, unique skill I can, set, I can follow him. Like I can be the other stealthy guy, but he's probably more, much more stealthy than I am. Uh, so I was just kind of busy customizing the, the uh, uh, stuff in my. Uh, so I'm a little sleepy. Uh, Customizing something in my my profile, but yeah, thanks <laughs> will probably be like go get that, go get right back. Well, my cloak of night only was three successes, so I'm apparently not as stealthy as I'm used to. Your occultation does add into that. It should have already been added in. Okay, I'm pretty sure I'd fix that up. Uh, I'll double check later, but I've got like ten die in there right now. So, I'm fairly certain I included it. I was hoping that there was a person that you could all charm, but since, you know, none of your speaking skills are going to be useful, I'll go do it. Well, we, we could. And risk Alex drawing the attention of everybody. <laughs> I would make a comment, but I've already started looking for the, the boat we need. I'm also yes, going to do it. kind of a quiet look around if I can. I right, doesn't do quiet. Yeah, that, that's why I'm not recommending you. I'll, I'll stay next to <laughs> Alex, because... I stand there not even talking, and he's being loud. Somebody um, should, like, where did he get gum? He's just chewing gum. Yeah. <laughs> No, it's, it's, it's presence is loud, louder than most people shouting. All right, ragtag. Can I get a roll of resolve plus stealth plus obfuscate plus obfuscate plus um, occultation from me, please? Okay, give me just a second. Uh, all right. Whoa. What was the first one again? Your resolve. Resolve. I'm um, okay. I got that number. What was next? Plus your stealth. All right. The reason I'm having to look for that so hard is because I can't find anything on my sheet anymore. Okay, there it is. Got it. Plus obfuscate. Okay. Plus occultation. All right, I'm just looking for obfuscate. Oh, there it is. Okay. Good grief. This is a lot of math in this game lately. <laughs> All right, that's not bad. <clears throat> that's, uh, let me just bump that up on my, okay. All right, three successes.
you feel eyes on you. Yeah, All right, I want to make it like I'm being, you know, I don't want to look, I don't want it to be obvious that I'm looking for it, so I'm just going to try to casually, you know, act like I'm looking for whatever I was really looking for, but look for the person who's watching. Give me a dex plus um, deception and a wits plus um, investigation roll. All right, dex plus deception. Uh I don't think I have deception. And... I'm gonna. Hmm. Am I rolling for anything? We need dex plus manipulation. I need you, uh, uh, Carter. I need you to make a wits plus investigation roll. Oh. Uh, okay. What was the other was two? Wits. Plus. There was wits dexterity plus. and wits. Dexterity, uh, dexterity and deception. I don't so, have deception. Did you... So you you, roll, you minus one from the roll. Okay. So okay. Uh, there's no actual deception. That would be subterfuge. Oh, I have subterfuge. Oh yeah, sorry, subterfuge. Oh okay. Yeah, like I said, the way they built this character sheet, I literally can't read half of my things. That's why it's taking me yeah. much longer. Oh yeah, the, the way they have the like darker stuff on the left hand yeah, side. Yeah, it so was bad. it was a poor design choice. On the right hand side, it's totally fine. Doesn't interrupt with a thing. Yeah, but just except for the bottom where it, yeah. where it's experience. All these things I need to see. Okay, so that was one for does this uh, Dex plus subterfuge. All right, and then give me a wits plus investigation. Okay. So looking at your um, <clears throat> looking at your sheet, I can see that you've got eight dice to that. Yes. That was at least the one that's easy for me to remember because it's, you know, one of my big ones. Okay. How am I only getting one success every time? We're getting horrific rolls tonight in general. Oh yeah, I, yeah. I might as well be Alice with binoculars looking around right now. <laughs> Only apparently I'm looking at it through the wrong side. Alex I'm getting fabulous. I don't know about you guys, but Alex sneezes. Someone hot must be talking about me. Nah, Carter, you're yep. unable to find any real specifics about what's been going on here. It seems like as if there's been too much movement coming in through the past few past few days for you to really be able to tell what's leading into where and what's coming from where. And But there is one odd thing that you do pick up. There's no like signs of any sort of animal life. There's no rat droppings. There's no like raccoon paw prints. There's nothing of that sort. It's like the urban adam the urban fauna um really detest this place um yeah ragtag you you still feel those eyes on you and you can't tell where they're coming from at all like you you just get this omnipresent feeling of somebody watching you from everywhere well, in that mm. case, I'm gonna start moving towards the mm, towards the more newer part of the docks with Alex. I'm gonna be like, okay, you start going towards the new part of the dock. I'm going to accompany you, but stealthily. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's bad for us to stay behind. So basically, yeah, what I, I want to do even... is uh, continue my search. Only, you know, if I find what I'm looking for, I will pretend to keep looking for a little while. Hopefully, I either draw out the eyes or I find what we're looking for, but make it look like I'm looking for something totally different. Like, I'm Wait, already no. caught, so I might as well try to throw them off the scent. Give me another um, dex plus subterfuge roll. Okay. That's not 
great. But... Are you using willpower on this, or you can spend willpower? Yeah. All right. Remind me what spending willpower does. It gives you um, it gives you three extra dice um, for anything to do with power or finesse attributes. So that's like intelligence, wit, strength, dexterity, presence, manipulation. But when it comes to resistance attributes like resolve, stamina, and composure, mm -hmm. it only gives you two. So. All right. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I've never done a willpower, so I'll go ahead and burn one to make this uh, a seven. Because we've seen how good I'm doing with ten. So obviously seven will be just all right. Four successes, nice. it's not bad. That's great. I go. I do love exploding tens. <laughs> yeah, that's the only thing that saved me on this roll. Um, no, I like this GM. I really like them as a GM. I think that should worry me then. Yes, you no. should be. <laughs> For Christmas, my sister-in-law got me a shirt that says, when the GM smiles, you're already in trouble. But I was a successful what? one, so why am I worried? I'm actually curious, is it an exploding 10 or Alex's? No. An exploding... Uh, I, I... An exploding 10 is an old cyberpunk term. When you started rolling dice and you got just straight up 10s continuously. Oh yeah, the same thing goes for uh, the open legend system. Yep. And seriously, uh, of my last three rolls, I've had at least one 10, and this time I had two in a row. Yep. Yeah. All right, what does my four out of seven tell me? Um... Your four out of seven tells you that whoever this person is, they're really, really good at keeping an eye on you. And Carter, you're getting that omnipresent feeling as well, as well as a seeming feeling of dread slowly creeping up. Okay. Um, while I'm stealthing, kind of keeping an eye on Alex, would I need to roll? Or... I, I pull you I just go, how do you want to do this? Do you want me to not me do this? No, do you want me to do what I normally do? Or do you want me to, you know... I want you me? to be the distraction. Not <clears throat> superfluous, <throat> loud distraction, just... I don't, need to be I don't need to be loud to be distracting. Well... So, <laughs> he just, he just basically takes off his co coat and struts. Oh, yeah. For one thing, uh, have either of you actually felt the eyes on you yet? Because uh, before we turn oh. Alex loose to be a distraction, let's wait until it's necessary. Well, we don't know that. You're an invisible man. Uh, yeah, but I haven't told you I'm being watched yet. So, you know, That's when, why, when no, we turn the no, disco no. ball loose, let's make sure it's we necessary. We, we don't know about this gaze you guys have upon you guys. So I mean, okay, that's let's... why I'm saying don't don't go turning the disco ball on until, you know, we told you it's necessary. Like, I want to see Alex do his thing, but you're you're getting ready to flip the switch before anybody said there was a reason. Well, the disco ball having domination. two guys as an advanced group and having two guys way, way behind is not a good tactic. Yeah, <laughs> just stop cut over the shoulders and starts catwalking uh, so along. So I'm I'm going to be trailing Alex a little bit ahead of him. I, I am um, going to send a quick text to the other two. Like we're not alone. Stay ready. Okay. If I see that, my text, reply I'm, I'm... is uh, I uh, I'm just doing my you know the quick reply on my phone, which is uh, prepare to withdraw. I'm, I'm, when I see that text, I'm going to flip or send Car Carter and Ragtag, can I get a composure plus blood potency roll from both of you? Oh, oh I'm no. actually good at this one. Uh, what's blood potency again? Oh, blood and do potency. I get anything special from being the protean? No, no, you don't, unfortunately. That was a very do good you... question, but unfortunately, you don't. 
can we use anything with uh, Vite or Willpower for this? You can use Willpower, yes. Oh. Oops. Stop. Now, I've also got emotional detachment, but I don't know if that would be necessary yet. No, that that wouldn't actually okay. be uh actually be I, like I picked it up and then I don't remember what it's used for. It's it's more of a, you know, when I'm being personally threatened, I believe. Anyway, four successes. That's not bad. I'm still getting those tens. I wish I was getting more of them, but I, it's not bad, I suppose. I'm getting tens. Getting one is pretty good, to be honest. Well, of nine die, I had two successes, so... I think it's slightly below average, but not that bad. This is what I think it is. Carter... An overwhelming sense of panic and fear starts to fill you. All of your rolls from this point on are at a negative two to add into the dice pool. As well, you cannot use willpower to gain any extra dice on any resistance rolls. Can I activate resilience right now? Yes, yes you can. Ragtag, you feel a tug ripping at you, the beast flaring in fear for just a moment before you squash it down, and you know that it's an outside influence. You know this feeling. This is a familial feeling, somebody else of the Nosferatu clan, and it feels really close. I want you to quickly give me a roll of wits plus a cult. Okay. Uh, I have this one pretty well figured out. That's, yeah. That'll be five. One success. For a moment, your eyes aren't your own. And you're staring at yourself. And you're feeling pride. And yet revulsion. Before your senses come back to you. Okay. Two things I'm going to want to do. First off, based on the angle I just saw myself from, can I get an idea of where this unseen person is? This person is on the street level with you. Okay. So they're they're on ground level. They're behind a corner. Mm -hmm. But you feel that they're close. Okay. I was sort of hoping that I could like gauge distance and everything. Uh, at least a rough idea. Nah, you, you it could be it could be a few yards, it could be a few feet, but knowing that vampires have the ability to hind, to fine tune their per, their perceptions, mm -hmm. <coughs> this guy could be three buildings away, and it would still like as if you're right there, right in front of him, okay. because of how it could, could be attuned. So the next thing I do is I hit the uh, the quick response to the group for um, retreat. And I'm going to uh, do just that. I'm going to begin to I, I, to leave. I, I'm sticking with you. Keep an eye. Like I'm, like I'm kind of moving up with you. So if you get in trouble, if anybody attacks, we at least have each other's backs. Okay. What the hell my that? Aura, does my aura sense pick up any presence? No, Alex. You, you no, Arthur. Your your aura sense isn't picking up anything currently. Uh, I I send a very fervent message like what? Uh, my belief is that once I hit you know something like that, it is I'm not stopping to look at my phone. I expect you to uh, you know follow that direction, and I'm headed out. Like uh, I'll I'll tap Carter on the shoulder or whatever, let him know exactly where I am if he can't see me. Uh, but since I'm with Carter, 
you know, I just say in as low a whisper as I can, uh, like Nosferatu, get out of here now. Make sure they don't, the others leave. I, I, I do a very kind of short note. You can kind of feel that when you kind of nudge me, you can feel the tension. Like, you can definitely tell I'm spooked, mm-hmm. which you haven't seen from me yet. Uh, Something... I'll just say, uh, make sure the others leave. This might be a family matter. I'll go separate. I, I'm going to... Is this stronger than us? We can't find it. Assume it is. I'm going to nod and do a kind of... Check my phone. Just, like, text. Leave. Like, get in the car and go. I will go and pick up Alex while he's in his shot. I will grab him by the collar and just drag him back to the car. And um, still trying to keep my cloak of night, uh, I'm going to head in the opposite direction because I want to know if this is family matters that need to be addressed or is were, was the group as a whole a target. So if I feel the feeling follow me, then better, you know, risk one of us than all four. You feel the fo- you feel the feeling following you for a moment, and then in the back of your mind, well, in the back of your senses, really, like a whisper across your ear, you hear a very familiar voice. Well, there, prodigal son, I always knew you'd be back. See you again soon, boy. And since I don't have telepathy, I'm just going to say out loud, Filthfoot, next time, just call me like everybody else. That wasn't uh, that wasn't telepathy. That was actually like is it, that was actually him talking. Yeah, I know, he but I don't know did. how he did it. So all mm-hmm. I can do is say the words. Oi, get off me! Come on. But as soon as I, you know, like, I'm going to give it, you know, 30 minutes to an hour because I, you know, I I play things very carefully. Uh, I think that's basically established. Once I'm sure there's nothing, there's no more eyes on me, then I will send a more detailed message but even then like i don't know if i trust the phones like with my hacking abilities uh anything like do i do i feel like our phones are as secure as possible yeah okay yeah, you do. okay i figure vampires got a little bit more you know we got something above consumer grade uh available to us but um all right then i will send a message uh filled foot was watching who? Oh, so yeah, I, you should tell me. I have business with him. I, I never met Bill Foot, so I'm going to write so as a question mark. I assume Who's at that? least one person in the group over there remembers Bill Foot, so I'm not too quick I, to I, reply. I, I, I just text oh, back and said, Oi, you should have told me I have business with him. If you remember, last time you went, you interacted with Filthfoot, I was being essentially grappled by Alex. Yeah, I know, but still, I thought that the I thought you guys would remember that he is, you know, um, he's at least still considered a dangerous vampire. So, do we keep, do we keep looking or call it off? Oh. um... I'm going to say let's rendezvous somewhere safe, but we don't go back just yet. We need to gather somewhere safe and talk. Okay. I'm waiting at the car. I'm going to, I'm going to get on my bike and turn it on as... Arthur, you feel a warmth in the pocket that you have the ruby in? 
Can you repeat that? Dude, your camera's completely frozen. Okay, now you're better. Um, is the ruby still blue? No, it's turned back to red. Yes, it's just a blue ruby. Maybe it make it a blue bee. No, a blue ruby is a sapphire. Yeah. I like ruby better. Okay. I... I assume Carter is there, right? Yeah, I would definitely... I, I assume I would be sticking with all of you once we've met up again. But you guys are in the car, I'm on my bike. Right. Um, yeah, I'm gonna put it back to my pocket. I probably should have nice ride card. I'm just waiting to make sure we're all together. Like for all I back. know, you know, for all I know, uh, Phil Foot was going to go snack on uh, Carter before he could get back. No, no, I think we're all together now. Is that right, DM? Yes, you guys are all together now. Okay. All right, I'm going to be like, okay, who the frick is Phil Foot? Well, I got no business, man. I know. He that doesn't was, answer my question. He was, you know, that guy we had to go, we went and had some words with. He's apparently stronger than I am, but he works in the same field as me. He's basically, he knows a lot, but he could see me out there. Is he a threat? He did something. I... If he did something, then assume he's a threat. I don't trust is anybody in this to, world. Is it? Is there any way we can make him turn uh, a blind eye? What do you know about him? What do I know about him? Well, I'm going to send you a very quick message, Andy. Okay. Uh, dude, you know that's not going to be great. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, it was one I just did. All right. Rolling it again. One success. Okay, and by that, you don't mean just clan. You mean something stronger, right? Yeah, I mean, Sorry, like... Sorry, I don't bother to type responses because I can ask the question faster. Yeah, I mean, like, this is either a grandsire, a sire, or a child, or a grandchild. Well, I know it's not the last two. And if it's... uh, Of the other two, only one of them is going to keep him alive. Another question for you. Back when I was, you know, my mundane investigation, you know, street broker days, did I know of Fleet, uh, Phil Foot? Like, would we, our paths have crossed? Uh, 
Give me an int plus comp roll. A what? Intelligence plus comp uh, plus uh, composure. Okay. Uh, okay, that's not bad. That's seven. You have um, eidetic memory, right? Yes, I do. Well, then you don't even have to roll. Oh, yes. <laughs> it's about time that came in handy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, you remember a feeling of being watched several times, like somebody watching you from alleyways, filterings of dirty clothing, blackened feet, and especially the night when you died. You can remember a rotting smell, black, filthy feet, and that voice, that laugh, comes back to you very strongly now. I was hoping that it was more of just, that was a, a name for another broker that had worked around. All right. So... Uh, I'm going to add we... this into my uh, my personal notes. So when when we're back here, and I'm asking all these questions, do I see like Carter visibly shaken? Because I've yeah, you've you've worked with me a fair bit. Even when like situations are bad, I tend not to get spooked. Like I might get super serious, or even if I have to run, like I'm actually spooked. Like. All right. Like twitchy scared. Have I ever... Have I ever experienced more or less that kind of sentiment to be able to say like, oh yeah, you saw a, a kindred who is much more powerful than you, or am I not able to make that distinction? Do you want to describe what you felt carter to um to arthur for the first time in a very long time i felt like a rabbit watched by a fox nowhere to run nowhere to hide it knew i was and i didn't know where it was that fear that primal reaming of blood that a hunter is near, and I am the prey. I could see myself <laughs> through his eyes. That means he's prob he is family to me through this whatever kind of monstrous family you want to call us now. And he's there's a good chance he's my sire, which means he's going to need to die one day. But it also means he's stronger. He could see me without a problem. No, here's my question. Did he ever threaten you or make any aggressive moves? Because I never so saw you guys him. told me he's just been watching. I've never seen him. I just know he was there and whatever he Well, I'll direct him more to Ragtag. We're trying to do something clandestine and we're being seen. I call that threatening enough. Would I know that he? Would I know that he used some ability on me or did something to me besides just kind of my body yeah. reacting to something? Or no, you you know, you know yourself as a gang girl quite well. You don't. When you see another vampire and their beast is fight and their beast is showing, you automatically take the point of being the equal to them in your beast size. This was something else. He definitely did something to you. It felt like some... Some ability, some, uh... Discipline or something. It... By my nature, yeah. my beast views things as equal. This yeah, was like, something else. Like, what, what, like my, uh, my majesty. Something like that. Only... Fear based. Yeah, Alex is gonna think he's he's said a little bit into disciplines, but 
He's trying to rack his brain if he, if he draws anything. You can give me a wits plus a cult. There, there is, is one yes. among you, though. There is one among you, though, who does know exactly what it is he could have possibly used. Because it is a family, a clan specific discipline that he's used. Yeah, um, I'm going to guess Nightmare. Bingo. I personally don't care to get into that particular field, but yeah, he yeah, is successful. It's... He was deliberately trying to chase you away. I okay, think he's man. trying to chase everything away from that area. He's probably protecting it because there was nothing. Yeah, either he's protecting something or he doesn't. He doesn't want to get into a fight. There's another possibility. Is it that the same thing as protecting something? Well, that's my last, those rules, wasted. It's a different tactic, but... We might okay. need to bring this up with Loki tomorrow. Now, when uh, the boat thing was sent... Was that the hunt, the blood hunt we were on, or was that more of the uh, the poacher issue? That was dealing with kind of both at the same time. Okay. Just wanted to make sure this was something to bring to Loki because, you know, I don't think we're supposed to go to him just because we took a side job and it didn't work out for us. All right. Um Next question, because I'm trying to use whatever information I actually have. Um, were there any kind of surveillance systems around the the docks that I might be able to go back and retrieve? There are several surveillance systems around the general docks area. So you figure you might be able to find something off of surveillance if there is any for that sort of area that you guys were specifically in that you could that you could potentially get. It's mm -hmm. going to need you physically going into the dock security room in order to uh, in order to get the DVDs for the nights, though. I'll say that we can uh, we can try to do that. Maybe. What, did he say what time the shipments come in? Are they always at night? They are always at night. Okay. I figure if I can go back and get the surveillance, there's a few things that might be able to work there for us. One, we have some better idea of what we're looking for. And two, maybe he's more interested in the boat itself. Sometimes... I don't know if he's old enough that he knows anything about technology, but it seems like the older you are, the harder it is to get involved in it. I mean, after all, that's why nobody's grandma ever knows how to, you know, do anything. I'm mildly insulted at that. I don't care. <laughs> Feels about to leave at night just like this. Because y'all got spooked. No, no. Did not just... get spooked. Knew we were being watched. There is a difference. He told me he spooked Carter. He definitely did something. Right don't, I don't wasn't... know why you guys keep having trouble with this. But whenever I say we're up against someone who is more powerful than us, that is not an invitation to go in and test your skills. That is a warning. You Do you Solomon. see me disagreeing with you in any way? Do you... I am referring to the one who keeps, you know, getting ready to say something as soon as I'm done talking. No, no. My point is, it is bad to go into a job, not even get past any point from where we can get some information. That's and why then come I and ask for Loki's help, especially since now we are hounds. That looks really bad on us, which looks really bad on the. You know what else looks really bad on you? 
having your arm removed from your body. I like my arms. You see? Good. That's my point. I actually dislike fire more than I dislike dismemberment, to be honest. Okay, then maybe he will burn you alive instead of dismembering you and beating you with your own limbs. The point stands. I was, I was wandering back to that area is something I'm not interested in doing without some form of support. So what I'm suggesting is let's see if I can go back to gather information. Information I is power. Sounds good. What help do you need from us? Basically, I just need to get to the security room. And if you know where it is, I, I mean, I'm going to guess I know where it is. I might be able to help. I know some people. Hmm. Would is my connection strong enough to be able to uh, request like smooth some palms to be able to get the, the discs of the night or whatever? Hmm. Let me just check on your sheet. I have status city one, but... Yeah, that's with the uh, vampires. Yeah, I don't have anything else. Hmm. Actually, you know what? I'll buy it. Because it makes sense for my backstory, if that's okay. Um, what are you, what are you, what are you buying? I, bleh. is it contacts that you're buying or is it, um, allies? Oh, uh, I was thinking, what would, actually, what would make more sense for Carter with what he's? Actually, the way that we've used it, it's been contacts. Okay. So contact docs? Yep. Yeah, you've got you. You know some people. They can uh, they can tell you possibly some. Um, they can tell you the uh, the moment when the security system is going to be not watched by anybody, and you can possibly sneak in at that time. Perfect. I'll pass that little information on, and then leave it up to him. So yeah, if like I said. Um... First off, I'm going to need to gather a lot of information on Phil Foot. That's going to become my priority after this. But for the immediate time, if I think I can get there, I'm going to go in and gather all the surveillance for the night. You might want to also get the one two nights before, too, because... You might be able to get more. It's every uh, every two I, nights. I don't know if they have a system that keeps. A, oh, it does keep it for two nights. I don't know. I okay. That's I'm just what I was that if checking. You can get it. Okay. You'll know once you get there. Yeah. Okay. Then yeah. Um, I'm gonna go back, and if there's anybody who thinks that it's a situation where, you know, obviously I need to be stealthy getting in, but I need the group to be ready to watch along the outside. So, you know, do your things, but I guess the you, best you way to see start... Arthur, you see Arthur's demeanor from being very much like the odd duck out to be like a little bit more serious. Like, is there a way you can get the footage not here? Or do you need direct access? I'm guessing I need direct access because they don't have remote servers at this point. Because I think it's a really bad idea to stay here any longer than we should. We... I think that if he stays in areas where there's a, enough people, he should be safe from 
breaking the masquerade, I think, is something he was not willing to do at the very least. Let's put it this way. If I think, if I go back and I think that he's still there watching, then we're probably... Well, fortunately, you're not going to go to that same area. No, no I don't plan on going not... to the ships again. I'm just trying to get into security. Because at least that way, we're leaving with information. Now, this Have the is... ships already arrived and left, or do we not know? You don't know yet. You don't know yet. Is there another, that last... Is there another? Is there a spot I could see that dock from without going into that area? From a Give roof a... or somewhere higher up. Give me a Dex plus Streetwise roll. Uh, can I use my willpower yet, or no? Yes, you can. You're you're back to the point to where you can use it again. The nearby warehouse district. If you if you manage to get onto the roofs of one of those, you can watch the docks perfectly from there. Okay, I will burn a blood point to draw my claws to get up there when I'm. If I see, like, if I'm definitely not going to do it in a place where people could see, but I'm just going to get it to an easy spot where. All right. Maybe I should take the look since my senses are a little bit more heightened. Hop on. Um, I have no idea what he's going to do. So how how large is this section of the docks that we're investigating? Like, how many city blocks, more or less? It's a good square mile. So, how many blocks to a mile? I have no idea. I work in metric. <laughs> um, so, I will... No, I'll just get on with Carter to go to his warehouse to kind of be the lookout. So, so it's you're a, on his own. It's a little over one and a half square kilometers. Okay. Like one mile is one point six oh nine, so one point six one kilometers. Okay. I am gonna I got a, yeah. I got a weird idea. Because we 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 entered the dogs from one point, right, and started advancing. No. We're keeping our distance now. Hey, no, no, we warned fight. him. If he wants to go back and try again, let him go back and oh, try no, again. No, this is not me going in. This is me going around. As and again, something we might have, should have thought of. And again, that's a dumb idea. We yeah, can get that's a... why I'm getting on the motorcycle. No, we're getting on the roof. Hop on my back. Okay, then. I will be I was leaning against the wall having a fag. Apparently nobody needs him. Actually, I do want you on standby to be a distraction. Yeah. I... Of course. <laughs> what would we do without Alex's And distraction? by distraction, I mean you might be, you know, using a table to hit people. I I can get behind I, that. I thought we weren't getting into a fight. That's the whole point of this. Yeah, but if security comes, I want him hitting people with a table. I hit someone. Right. I hit someone with someone else. You know what? If I send you a a three on a text message, it means go ham. Turn people if, into okay. ham for all I care. Maybe Wait, not. So I'm, I'm getting a little bit confused. So where's Ragtag going? To I'm going into <laughs> the security <laughs> offices to try to get the okay. surveillance stock uh, recordings. So question for the storyteller. 
what how close is the warehouse where we're going to the security room it's a good 500 yards so i think the box of drugs meter is just over a yard in length i think it's yeah, like one meters okay they're not that far then um from the warehouse would i have visibility to kind of see if anything like shit hits the fan in there okay yep so i'm going to tell alex right. this part because uh, i'm going to keep this simple for you man if i text one i've got everything and we're good you can go ahead and leave two things are getting you know there's there's some problems and I'm bailing. Three, be ready to club people with other people. We might also want one where he just creates a distraction without beating people. He's pretty good That's at the whole. That's basically the two. To himself. The two is I'm getting out, but we don't need to. You know, we need some distraction, but we don't need chaos distraction. We don't. Okay. Don't need On a two, just start singing and do a public performance. I don't care. You know, it, the point is, don't kill people on a two. You know, you probably should aim for knocking people out on a three two. Just drawing blood, not yeah. smart. Right, th this wasn't supposed to be complicated. One, there's no problem. Two, public performance. Keep your clothes on, preferably, but I don't care. Three, violence. <laughs> Just I am just trying to work within Alex's terms there. right now. And I'm trying to prevent <laughs> Alex's terms math, right? don't need to be complicated, guys. We've seen what happens when we tell him complicated. <laughs> With that, I'm going in. All right, Arthur, yeah. come on. So, Cloak of Night. Go on with Carter. I, I, Four I, successes I, I, out of ten. It's not great, but I it's better than what I've been doing. I was going to the phone going free, 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 free. <laughs> no, I'm fine with that, as long as it's not going to my phone. All right, and I'm getting us up onto the roof to keep an eye out for that mystery boat. <clears throat> yeah, I'm going to, uh, from the warehouse, using uh, heightened senses, more or less to see how much... How many people, like, what's the traffic like? And if I can see the boat, even better. And to see if I can more or less sum up and kind of kind of see how big the boat is and kind of memorize more or less the characters. Char I, I've, characters. Also, okay. I've also put the bike in a position that we can keep an eye on it so nobody's going to grab it or destroy it or anything. But also a spot where if we need to, like, immediately bail... We can literally jump on the bike and take off. Like an old Western movie. Yeah, like literally, like, all right, let's go. <laughs> okay. And with a plan and with a goal in sight, we end tonight and we will be back. Shall we say next week? Because the other game is no. Now uh, on remember, mm -hmm. next week we're doing oh, yeah. the other project. But give us just a few weeks, people, and then this will hopefully become um, a weekly game. If we're all actually, I don't... nice. I can't do, do I can't do weekly because I have another game going on every ah. on the Sundays. And... Well, we really should have had this conversation in private then, because now, <laughs> now we look like fools because we didn't. Okay, we know what. Yes, uh, Expendable well, Crew like has come to an end. It is sad, but new things will be will rise from it. So, but hey, for right now, we'll be back in two weeks to see Alex clubbing people with other people. With people, <laughs> <laughs> because I'm just gonna find a way to make that happen. He he deserves oh, God. it. So we'll see you later, guys. Nothing better than break.